Hello, my name is Dan Dodds. I'm the principal attorney at the Dodds Law Firm in Surprise, Arizona. In today's video, I want to answer a question that many, many, many people ask me, and that is this. What will I lose if I file a Chapter 7? Well, the bottom line is most people in Chapter 7 in Arizona never lose anything. Let me repeat that. Most Chapter 7 debtors who file for bankruptcy in Arizona typically do not lose any property at all. That's why our exemptions are very good. Well, what's an exemption? An exemption is the amount of money that if you sold something, you would have it still in your hand because you had equity in it. So what are those exemptions? Well, there's many of them, but let me give you an example. Family home. You can keep up to $250,000 in equity in your home that nobody can touch if you've owned it over two years. Vehicles. Each debtor, if I file and I don't have a spouse, I can protect $6,000 of equity. But if my wife and I are married, I can protect up to $12,000 because she has a $6,000 exemption. And since she's filing too, we can stack that to protect up to $12,000. Furniture, anything less than $6,000 in equity, you keep it. Well, people go, my goodness, I just bought a bedroom set two years ago and I'm still paying on it. Well, that's not the issue. The issue is, what's it worth? Well, how do I know what it's worth? This is what I tell my clients. Go visit some garage sales. That's what it's worth. And you don't see uh, thousands of dollars of used furniture being sold. Uh, used furniture is used furniture. Wedding rings, you can protect up to $2,000. Uh, animals, pets. Uh, up to or less than $500. I have never lost a pet in my entire career. Why? Well, because most of us don't own real fancy, uh, expensive paper dogs that are registered with a canine association that might be worth $25,000. Most of us have Fido, and Fido is a mixed breed animal $500 would be, you probably couldn't get $100 for the dog. Retirement funds, 401ks, money you have in an IRA, money you have in a ERISA pension plan. Sit down, you're going to like this. You can protect up to 100% of all the money you have in the 401ks you possess, the IRAs you possess, and the ERISA pensions that you possess. 100%. It's your money today. It's going to be your money after you get this bankruptcy discharge. So the question is, well, what will I lose? Well, here's the answer. Typically, people lose 100% of their unsecured debts. Boom, they're discharged. Well, what are uh, examples of those unsecured debts? Well, credit cards is one good example. Medical bills, one example. Loans that you borrowed to have uh, your car fixed. There's an example, they're dischargeable. Personal loans you may have taken out from somebody, those are dischargeable. A collection accounts that have been converted to money judgments against you, those are discharged. So, the answer is most people don't lose property. They do lose their unsecured debts, which greatly empowers them to be able to sleep at night that some debt collector isn't going to be knocking on the door serving them with court papers. Uh, that's worrisome to people. So if you have any questions that uh, are specific to the facts in your uh, family, let's talk. So in summary, the answer is People lose almost nothing, 99% of the time in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, other than their unsecured debts, which is drowning them. So they've put themselves on a much firmer and stable financial basis so that they can regain the credit 
that they so badly need uh, in a relatively short time. Hope this information is helpful to you. Have a good day.